Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be taking you th through some of my favourite and some of the most useful keyboard shortcuts you can use with micro, uh, sorry, with Mozilla Firefox, the web browser. I've also recorded um, similar videos for keyboard shortcuts for when you're using Google Chrome and for when you're using Internet Explorer 11 as well. But this one is about the Firefox web browser. So let's dive straight in. Pressing Control and Plus zooms in so your text, photos and videos become larger. Pressing Control and Minus, as you might expect, zooms out, everything becomes smaller. Pressing Control and Zero sets everything back to 100%. Now what's really lovely about those three keys, the zero, the minus and the plus, is they are all together on the top right hand side of your keyboard. Okay, now pressing control and then T together opens up a new tab. And so you can see here that the same Firefox window is open but there's a new tab in it. Now pressing control and holding your control key down and then pressing your tab key one by one takes me, cycles me through all of the tabs that I've got open in Firefox. And if you look at the top of the screen you can see that the tab that is focused on is highlighted in white as we go through them, as it rotates through. So that's holding the control key down and pressing the tab key one by one. Let's get back to BBC web page. Okay, now, in fact, let's move it along a bit. Now, pressing the control and W deletes the tab that you were currently on. So you can see that I've had three tabs up and now I've only got two. Pressing control and the shift and the T okay what it does is it um, reopens the last active tab that you were working on so if you actually close the tab down and it had a web page up then pressing control shift and T will actually reopen it and you can see that I've got the, um, the company's YouTube um, video page up so that's what control shift and T does Let's have a look for some others. Now, control and if I was to press the control key and then with my, with my left mouse button, I click on a link. So here I've got a video that I recorded just a few minutes ago. If I click on that link, what that does is it opens up that link in a new tab. And you can see that it's... Okay, so let's... Um, <laughs> We better turn that off so that opens a link in a new tab that is control and left clicking um, now alt and let's just go on this alt and left arrow takes you to a page that you were previously now let me just let's just type in some another web thing here okay so I've just gone to the Guardian from the BBC so alt if I pre now press my alt key and my left arrow it should take me back to the page that I was previously on and pressing the alt and the right arrow uh, takes me to um, the next page which it should actually be the Guardian. I don't quite know why that's not working the other way. That's just taken me through all the BBC pages. But all, um, So Alt and Left Arrow takes you back through the history of pages that you've visited, web pages that you've visited, and, all, and your Alt key and the Right Arrow takes you forward through the history of the pages that you've visited. Right, now your Alt and your D key, really, really handy. It highlights the address. So that's, you can see up there the BBC address has been highlighted so that I can then um, 
I can then type in a new address straight away and Lifehacker is um, is a technology website that I look at quite a lot so there we go um, F11 is the next one and pressing the F11 what that does is it takes you to full screen you can see that kind of the tabs and your address bar at the top disappear so you've got more room to read your web page and then if you press F11 again they reappear so that's your F F11 cycles you between full screen and not full screen and then F5 refreshes your web page so that just reloads the web page just in case there's anything that's wrong with it or there's an, another reason why you need to reload it so there they are those are my favorite some of the most useful keyboard shortcuts you can use when using when using Firefox. Thank you for watching.